In its 56 years, this old house has seen a lot of thrills and activity and excitement. But other than spring drills and an occasional practice in the fall, it'll see very little of a brand new era in Mountaineer football. I'm Woody O'Hara, and this is Mountaineer Jammin'. Hello again, everyone. I'm Woody O'Hara. Welcome to Inside Mountaineer Football. This week, we'll meet Captain Ron Wolfley. We'll check in with an old barefoot boy from Mississippi State who came to West Virginia back in the 1950s to become a big part of the glory days. We'll see how the rankings were affected, and we'll also check in with a big game coming up against Rutgers. Look back at something we'd like to forget about Virginia. That and more coming your way on this week's Inside Mountaineer Football. Well, there it is, downtown Nashville, Tennessee, as we bring you our Music City Bowl edition of Mountaineer Magazine. Well, Nashville is uh, coping with the coldest ever December in 130 years of record keeping. And who knows what it's going to be tomorrow for the ball game. You'll have to flip a coin to find out. They've been calling for ice storms here for the past three days. So far, no ice storm. Well, it appears the pothole situation is with us now and will be with us for some time to come. I'm Woody O'Hara in the road for the mountain scene tonight. Okay. <laughs> it's funky time, funky basketball. If you're going to the Coliseum, you better get a scorecard because all the players are new. Well, even though it's a holiday, Asel Kennedy, our well-stuffed extension agent, is here to bring the agricultural community up to date on the latest news from around the farm. From looking at Woody, each of us can tell that we're all full of turkey and that we have many things to be thankful for. The West Virginia Mountaineers are ready for 95. We hope you are, too. There's almost enough to make your head spin. Hello again, everyone. I'm Woody O'Hara. Welcome to another Mountaineer magazine. And now the West Virginia Mountaineers make their way onto the field. That was good for that point, wasn't it? <laughs> Two members of the MSN family, Woody O'Hara and the late John McKinney, were honored with induction into the West Virginia Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Woody teamed up with fellow inductee Jack Fleming on MSN Radio, broadcasting WVU football and basketball contests. Let me simply say it's a distinct honor to be added to the roles with uh, Jack and Boz, Gene, many others already in the Hall of Fame. A new coach, Don Nealon, comes on the scene from Michigan and has surrounded himself with a very creditable staff, a staff that is just as enthusiastic about the coming 1980 season as the ball club. We've been through the weight program. The players are strong and ready to go. And what injuries there might be now will certainly heal during the coming summer and be ready for fall. And before you know it, Saturday, September 6, 1980, some 45 to 50,000 will be, well, right there in that stadium, ready for the opening of WVU football, a new era. Wear your gold and blue. We'll see you there. <laughs> 